Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for July 7th, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the pure 20. If you add the 2 and the 0 together, you get the, new the number 2. You've heard me say that sometimes I'll pull the 2 into an 11, but when we get the pure 20, we really want to angle the day towards negative mind or critical mind or being aware of negative mind and critical mind. So the number two asks us to look at our attitude around many things that seem to want to get under our skin. I know, I feel it too. We are wondering why it just seems overwhelming each day. And every morning as we wake up, we brace for another day that can feel like an onslaught of intense emotions and stress. While we feel as if it will eventually end, it doesn't. And after years of things escalating, there is a new level of exhaustion arising. I hear about it every day. People want relief, but they cannot find it. Somehow there has to be a doorway through to a world that does not pull at our minds and intend to pull us apart. But how do we get there? That, that this is what it takes us to get back to this number two or negative mind or critical mind. The solution? is to understand the mind. This does not mean that we should listen to the garbage and flotsam that circulates within our own or the minds and opinions of others. And that is where it is very difficult. We spend a lot of time and energy educating common sense right out of us. Often we need to step back, step out of the mind's games and recognize that we must make choices that will do what is right for humanity, life, nature, and our world. I don't care anymore what anyone believes. I only care if their choices help or hurt. If they cause suffering, those choices are wrong. It's as simple as that. We need to look at the big picture and what we want to create in our world for our children's children. The changes that are necessary are gonna take generations to see results. Rebuilding forests takes decades. Looking at construction techniques that are not toxic and those that become required by law will for sure take time to go through normal channels because the enemies are those out there that are ruthless in pursuing their God of the almighty dollar over the well-being of the planet and its people. We need laws that make those that lie and deceive for their own personal gain illegal. I know that sounds impossible. And perhaps it is, but there must be consequences to such behavior that destroys life. That is how we learn to use the mind to find solutions to real problems rather than use the mind to make up ridiculous problems as distractions from doing what is desperately needed to be done. Okay, the astrology today. I am sure we can all feel this new moon building up tomorrow. It feels like a doozy. The buildup is intense. Do your best to stay on track and stay kind. The moon today is in Taurus, making us seek those things that are comforting and that nurture our soul. Not a bad quest in such difficult times. As we prepare for this new moon, take some time for reflecting and digesting the past few months. Pushing will not get us where we thought. Might as well wait for the right moment. We will know it when we see it. With Mercury and Pluto quincux, many things will feel challenging. Accepting what is offered seems inadequate and insufficient. That in turn leads us down a path to the realization that our answers lie elsewhere. Decisions are looming, but the choices seem to fall on deaf ears or others are just negative about those dreams that still live in our hearts. Add to that Venus and Uranus square making things very difficult. Things seem to be going astray and impulsivity is becoming the norm. Material longing, especially when it is not actually yours, will always lead you down a path choked with karmic suffering. While instability has been too familiar and these emotions arising are threatening to let our reactionary nature take control. We need to not let them tear down what we have created from years of effort on a whim. Step back, take a breath. It's time to change the focus towards a larger goal rather than a selfish urge. The sun and Jupiter are coming into square, and that is the reminder that all this upset is about wanting more from this life. We have to own up 
to our lack of self-control and recognize that overindulgence in anything takes us on a slippery slope that is destined to take those things back that we have not learned or earned. My quote for today, life will take us, take things from us that we have not learned or earned. And my blog for today, listen to your heart because it always knows the way. Listen to your heart when others are in pain and dismay. Listen to your heart when the mind screams loud. Listen to your heart when others say that you are not allowed. Listen to your heart above all the noise in your mind. Listen to your heart. Make the choice to always be kind. Listen to your heart when hate wants to pull you in. Listen to your heart because you are not a product of original sin. Listen to your heart because inside you are divine. Listen to your heart because your soul has a grand design. Listen to your heart because we are more than we know. Listen to your heart because then you know when to go. Thanks, everyone.